my research is very diverse, but I suppose I've always believed in working or following leads in science. It's very hard to predict what's going to work and what isn't in science, and often the unexpected is the most rewarding. So I've tended to follow the uh, discoveries as they've come along. But I also like to work between fields, I mean, between, in this case, cancer biology and immunology, because I feel combining your knowledge between fields is often when you come up with the unexpected, the left field discovery, which I tend to like to do. I don't like to be a me too scientist, I like to make the new discoveries. My most favourite project at present is this receptor sharing project, which is the ability of immune cells to share their antigen receptors, the ability to recognise the pathogen to bystander cells and rapidly expand the number of immune cells that can combat an infection. And also it can be harnessed to combat cancer by expanding the number of immune cells that can recognise the cancer as foreign and reject it. I think that's an incredibly exciting finding, which is very novel. It's totally our own discovery and which created a lot of interest. We've actually won a Marshall Warren Award for the most innovative NHMRC project grant in 2010 for that work. As a group leader, I think the most important thing to do is to inspire your research team to follow up on their research findings. It's also very important to train the next generation of scientists, so I have quite a lot of PhD students and some honours students that we're educating, training, showing how to do science, enthusing them about science, which I think is terribly important, and also adapting them to the fact that science is not an easy discipline. You go through periods where things don't work, things can be tough, but when you make that breakthrough, that's pretty hard to beat in terms of a profession that's very rewarding.